Imagine standing at the edge of a vast ocean, your heartfelt prayers like messages tucked inside a bottle, cast into the endless waves, hoping and waiting for a reply that seems to never come. This is a tale not uncommon to many of us, a chapter from my own life where a prayer, deep and earnest, seemed to echo into a void, unanswered. But what if I told you there's another way? A way that transforms your whispers to the heavens into powerful conversations that are heard and responded to. Today, we embark on a journey together, exploring the profound connection between us and the divine. We're not just talking about prayer in the way most of us have known it. No, we're delving into a method, a practice that brings us closer to the answers we seek, breaking through the silence. It's not about changing what we pray for, but how we pray. Join me as we unlock the secrets to prayers, not just spoken, but answered, turning our silent hopes into joyful realities. This is more than a lesson. It's a transformation, a rekindling of faith, where every word we utter in prayer is a step closer to the miracle we've been waiting for. Let's discover together the power of prayer, reimagined and revealed. Imagine this, you're at your lowest point, feeling lost and alone. You've prayed, maybe more sincerely than ever before, but it feels like your prayers are just bouncing off the ceiling. It's a place many of us have been, questioning if our voices are even heard. But what if I told you that the power of prayer goes far beyond what we've been taught? There's a deeper, more profound way to connect and communicate with the divine that ensures our prayers aren't just heard, but answered. Now, let's dive into a common puzzle that troubles many spiritual hearts. Why do some prayers seem to go unanswered? It's a question that echoes in the silent spaces of our minds, often leaving us feeling disconnected and disheartened. But could it be possible that we've misunderstood the true essence of prayer? Many of us were taught to pray as if reciting a wish list, expecting immediate and specific responses. Yet, this perspective misses the heart of prayer, a profound communion with the divine, a dialogue rather than a monologue. Could it be that something is missing in our traditional prayer practices? This question invites us to explore the depths of our spiritual routines. It challenges us to look beyond the surface to the intention, faith, and openness that form the foundation of true prayer. It's not about the words we say, but the way we say them. It's not about the requests we make, but the relationship we nurture. Have you ever considered that the key to unlocking the mystery of answered prayers might not lie in the asking, but in aligning? Yes aligning your desires, your heart, and your spirit with the divine will of God. It's a profound shift from merely sending out requests to the universe to stepping into a dance with the divine, moving in harmony with a greater plan for your life. This alignment is not about passive waiting. It's about becoming an active participant in your faith journey. But what does it truly mean to align with God's will? It means listening as much as we speak and receiving as much as we ask. It's about opening our hearts to understand what God wants for us, which might be different from what we want for ourselves. This divine alignment requires a deep, unwavering faith, a belief that even when things don't go our way, they're going the right way. It's about trusting in the ultimate goodness of the plan laid out for us, even when it's beyond our understanding. To be in alignment is to be in constant communication with God, not just through words, but through actions, through the way we live our lives. It's about being receptive to the signs, the guidance, and the nudges that guide us toward our highest good. This is the active faith that transforms our prayers from mere words into a powerful force a force that not only reaches the heavens, 
but changes the world around us. In the heart of scripture, we find compelling evidence of the power of persistence in prayer. Think of the parable of the persistent widow who kept coming to the judge, pleading for justice against her adversary. It wasn't her plea that moved the judge, but her relentless persistence. This story isn't just a lesson, it's a divine invitation to remain steadfast in our prayers, no matter how distant the answer seems. But why is persistence in prayer so crucial? It's because persistence is the purest expression of faith and dedication. It's easy to pray once and move on, but it takes profound faith to keep knocking on heaven's door, to keep seeking, and to keep asking. This relentless pursuit is not about convincing God to move in our favor. It's about molding our spirits, strengthening our faith, and aligning our hearts with God's will. Persistence in prayer is a journey, not a one-time act. It reflects a heart fully committed to seeking God's presence and power in every aspect of life. It's about not giving up, even when the wait seems endless. This dedication is what builds a deep, unshakable faith. A faith that understands that God's timing is perfect, even when it's not our own. In this persistence, we find not only the answers to our prayers, but a closer, more intimate relationship with the divine. Imagine prayer not as a one-way request line to the divine, but as a sacred partnership with God. This partnership goes beyond just voicing our desires. It's a profound collaboration that involves listening, understanding, and acting upon God's will. It's about entering a dialogue where we speak and God responds, guiding us towards our true purpose and the best path for our lives. In this divine partnership, listening becomes as crucial as asking. It's about quieting our minds and hearts to hear God's voice, to sense His nudges, and to discern His direction. This requires a deep level of trust, a belief that God is always speaking to us through words, people, and situations, guiding us towards His plans for us, plans for our welfare and not for harm, to give us a future filled with hope. Understanding God's will is the cornerstone of this partnership. It's about aligning our desires with God's desires for us, knowing that His plans are always greater than our own. This alignment doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means elevating them and trusting that God's vision for our lives is far beyond anything we could imagine for ourselves. Acting upon God's will is the natural outcome of this partnership. It means taking steps of faith, even when the path is unclear and trusting that God is leading us. It's about putting our faith into action, living out the truths we believe in, and being co-creators with God in this world. This partnership in prayer is a journey of transformation, where we become more like the divine, more attuned to love, and more aligned with the eternal purposes of our lives. Imagine prayer not as a one-way request line to the divine, but as a sacred partnership with God. This partnership goes beyond just voicing our desires. It's a profound collaboration that involves listening, understanding, and acting upon God's will. It's about entering a dialogue where we speak and God responds, guiding us towards our true purpose and the best path for our lives. In this divine partnership, listening becomes as crucial as asking. It's about quieting our minds and hearts to hear God's voice, to sense His nudges, and to discern His direction. This requires a deep level of trust, a belief that God is always speaking to us through words, people, and situations, guiding us towards His plans for us, plans for our welfare and not for harm, to give us a future filled with hope Understanding God's will is the cornerstone of this partnership. It's about aligning our desires with God's desires for us, knowing that His plans are always greater than our own. 
This alignment doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means elevating them and trusting that God's vision for our lives is far beyond anything we could imagine for ourselves. Acting upon God's will is the natural outcome of this partnership. It means taking steps of faith, even when the path is unclear, and trusting that God is leading us. It's about putting our faith into action, living out the truths we believe in, and being co-creators with God in this world. This partnership in prayer is a journey of transformation, where we become more like the divine, more attuned to love, and more aligned with the eternal purposes of our lives. At the very core of a life transformed by prayer is the bedrock of faith and belief. It's about trusting in the unseen, believing in the power of prayer, and knowing deep in your soul that God's timing and wisdom surpass our understanding. This faith is not passive. It's a vibrant living belief that propels us forward even in the face of uncertainty. Yet doubts are a natural part of our spiritual journey. They creep in, whispering questions and fears into our hearts. How do we overcome them? By returning to that foundation of faith and reminding ourselves of the times when God's grace was evident in our lives. It's in these moments of reflection that our faith is fortified and our doubts begin to dissolve. Believing in God's timing is an exercise in divine trust. It means accepting that, while our prayers may not be answered in the way or time we want, they are always answered in the way that's best for us. This belief requires surrender, a release of control, and an openness to the flow of divine wisdom. It's about recognizing that our vision is limited, but God's is not and his plans for us are woven with threads of love, purpose, and goodness. Imagine a world where every whispered prayer, every silent plea, finds its way to manifestation. This isn't just wishful thinking, it's a reality for those who've seen the power of adjusted prayer approaches transform their lives. Let's delve into the lives of individuals from various walks of life, each with their own unique struggles, who found their prayers answered in ways they never anticipated. First, consider Sarah, who spent years praying for healing in her family. It was only when she began to focus her prayers on understanding and embodying God's love and forgiveness, rather than on specific outcomes, that she witnessed a miraculous healing of relationships within her home. Then there's Michael, a young entrepreneur whose business was on the brink of collapse. He shifted his prayers from asking for immediate rescue to seeking wisdom and patience. In time, not only did his business survive, but it thrived, becoming more successful than he had ever imagined. And let's not forget Amina, who prayed for peace in her heart amidst personal turmoil. By aligning her prayers with a deep trust in God's plan for her, she found a sense of peace and strength that surpassed her understanding, guiding her through her challenges with grace. These stories, diverse in their backgrounds and challenges, share a common thread, the transformative power of aligning prayers with God's will and timing. They teach us that when we adjust our approach to prayer, focusing on faith, openness, and alignment. The answers we receive may look different from what we expected, but are often exactly what we need. These testimonials stand as beacons of hope, showing us that this method of prayer is not just for the few, but is universally applicable and capable of touching and transforming any heart willing to embrace it. Embarking on a journey to deepen your prayer life can begin with simple, intentional steps each day. Let's explore a daily guide that weaves this new approach into the fabric of your spiritual routine, transforming every moment into an opportunity for connection and growth. Day one, 
Set your intention. Begin your day by setting an intention for your prayers. Rather than starting with a list of requests, ask for openness and alignment with God's will. This shift in perspective opens your heart to the full breadth of possibilities that prayer holds. Day two, practice mindfulness. Dedicate your prayers to being fully present. In a quiet space, focus on your breath, allowing yourself to feel the presence of God. Mindfulness in prayer helps in recognizing the divine whispers that guide and comfort us in our daily lives. Day three, cultivate gratitude. Start your prayers with thanksgiving. Acknowledge the blessings, both big and small, that grace your life. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance we possess, fostering a heart more receptive to God's voice. Day four, seek wisdom. Today, ask for wisdom in your prayers, wisdom to understand God's teachings, to make choices that reflect His love, and to see challenges as opportunities for growth. Seeking wisdom in prayer nurtures a deeper, more meaningful dialogue with the divine. Day five, offer your day. In your morning prayer, offer your day and all its tasks to God. This act of surrender invites God into every aspect of your life, turning each moment into a living prayer and a reflection of your faith and dedication. Day six, reflect and review. Spend your prayer time in reflection. Look back on the week, acknowledging where you felt God's presence. Reflecting on your experiences enhances your understanding of how prayer shapes and guides your life. Day seven, rest in His presence. Conclude your week by resting in God's presence. Let your prayers be silent, allowing yourself to simply be with God. This quiet communion is a powerful expression of trust and faith, a reminder that sometimes the most profound prayers are unspoken. Throughout this journey, remember to be patient with yourself. Transformation doesn't happen overnight, but with each step, each day, you move closer to a more profound, more fulfilling prayer life. Let mindfulness, gratitude, and reflection be your companions, enhancing your connection to the divine and enriching your spiritual journey. As we wrap up our exploration today, it's essential to remember that the journey towards spiritual growth and having our prayers answered is ongoing. It's a beautiful process that unfolds uniquely for each of us, filled with moments of profound insight and, at times, challenging lessons. I encourage you to approach this journey with an open heart and mind, ready to receive, learn, and grow in ways you might not have imagined. The path of prayer and alignment with the divine is not always straightforward, but it is rich with potential for deep, transformative change. Your experiences on this journey are valuable, not only to your spiritual development, but also as beacons of hope and encouragement for others navigating their own paths. So, I invite you to share your stories, your struggles, and your victories. Let's create a community where support, understanding, and encouragement flow freely, where we can all feel a little less alone in our spiritual quests. And if this video has spoken to you, if it has offered a new perspective or a spark of inspiration, I'd be deeply grateful if you could like it and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us continue this journey together, exploring the depths of spirituality, prayer, and personal growth. By liking and subscribing, you become a vital part of a community dedicated to seeking and sharing spiritual wisdom. So, as we look to the journey ahead, Let's do so with anticipation for the growth that awaits us, the prayers that will be answered in unexpected ways, and the community we build along the way. Thank you for joining me in this exploration. Here's to the journey ahead, filled with faith, hope, and love. Remember, you're not walking this path alone. Together, 
let's move forward one step, one prayer, one day at a time.